In this video, we are going to talk about how do groups develop. So about the group development, and let me just change my brush. So about the group development, and we are going to consider a five stage model. This is a very well known model within the organizational behavior. So as you can see, we are going to have five stages. Stage one, two, three, four, five. Each of these stages has some specific characteristics and something very specific happens within the group. So let's begin. Of course, before any group uh, starts to exist, there is a pre-stage. So you have some set of individuals, one, two, three, four, whereas these arrows, you can understand them, that they have different goals. So these can be some goals that differ. So that is a pre-stage to every group. Now, stage one forming. As you can see around this, our group of individuals has been created some small circle. This represents a group. Stage one is called forming. Uncertainty about the group's purpose, structure and leadership. So that the people who have joined the group or, or created the group are really uncertain about what are we doing here? What is going to be our structure and who is going to be our leader? And members test the water to see what types of behavior are acceptable. To, so to really see what is acceptable within uh, this group. Second stage is called storming. Members accept the existence of the group, but resist constraints it imposes on individuality. So that you can see, they now understood that there is some group and that they should cooperate somehow together. But as you know, every group is setting some constraints on the individuality or on our personal goals. And the members of the groups are still resisting these. Then there is as well the conflict over who will control the group so that who will be the leader. And so we are getting to the third stage, which is called norming. Here, the group demonstrates cohesiveness. So groups or the group members have already stopped this resist, the resist on the constraints it imposes on individuality, and the group is now cohesive. Now, created sense of group identity and common set of expectations. So that you can see that every group needs some sort of an identity and needs to have some expectations. And as you can see from the picture, really our members of the group have started to understand that there should be some common goal towards which we are going. And then there should be some leader who is going to lead us and represent these goals. And so we are getting to the fourth stage. This is some sort of a peak. It's called a performing stage. Now, structure is fully functional and accepted. This is important, not just that it is functional, but also that members of the group are accepting it. Secondly, group energy has moved from getting to know each other, which has been within all these stages, we, our members were getting to know each other, but now they are focusing on performing of the task that they are given. However, every group is going to go through a during stage, stage five. This is simply a preparation for this bending so that you can see that the connections between our members are getting weaker and weaker and they will diminish after all. The group is simply wrapping up activities and of course it has a low task performance and after this stage the group will stop to exist. So you have seen the five stages through which uh, groups are going when they are developing. 